the words we use to express our opinions and emotions can inspire ourselves and others to do things that greatly improve our lives and sometimes worsen a terrible situation. Speech interpreted as manipulative, speculative, or direct attack can have its meaning hidden by mixing it in words and terminologies that convey hidden but clearly understood connotations that may be harmful, condescending, or even downright lies. Let's investigate how words and terms are used to form what is called loaded language, which is used to craftfully manipulate interpretations, hide true intentions, and avoid criticism. Welcome to Four C's One Family. Language can be used like a chisel to carve words, terms, and phrases deeply into the minds of listeners and readers. Charismatic and influential individuals and organizations use calculated or targeted language in their speeches and publications to get people excited about an event, policy, or belief. They include terms that emotionally inspire people to believe and participate in preferred and often orchestrated actions. Words used in this way can make those with similar beliefs feel that they are part of an exclusive and anointed assembly. This is why politicians and leaders of major religions and cults use specific words that emotionally amplify their followers' support. Terms Idioms, phrases, slang, and even jargon can be arranged, stacked, and camouflaged in rhetoric. The rhetoric used in loaded language hides a speaker's real motives or intentions and even enforces obedience. This shifting of the definition and usage of words creates what is known as somatic change. Semantic change describes when words become connected with other meanings and usages that are, over time, often radically different from their original definitions and usages. Here are some examples. Criticize, demonize. Criticize is frequently used in judgments that show disapproval of someone or a group. On the other hand, Demonize is frequently used in judgments that not only show disapproval of someone or a group, but also equivocate a person or group to having characteristics that are evil or devil-like. This word also carries some religious connotations. This morning, my boss criticized me for being late for work. In the afternoon, I overheard my boss's wife demonize him for not bringing their daughter home from school yesterday. She berated him for over 30 minutes. I'm not talking about me. Loaded language can be used in cute ways that don't cause harm, but are used to make a comical point. My cousin's little boy is a devil but he smiles like an angel. In everyday usage, the word bad means someone or something that is not up to standards, not competent at a task or undesirable. But in the 1960s and 70s, the word bad had a positive connotation in American slang, meaning something extremely positive. For example, one of Michael Jackson's albums was titled Bad to emphasize how good it was. That was really a bad album. Semantic change in loaded language can also be applied in terms. Environmentalist, tree hugger. Environmentalist refers to a person who has great concern or advocates for protecting the environment, but a tree hugger describes someone willing to take radical measures like violent protesting and blocking roads to prevent access to places like forests and rivers. News report. 
Hundreds of environmentalists held a protest to block a road heading up to Green Mountain, where the construction company Nevergreen plans to build a 200-room hotel. The company's CEO angrily said, these tree huggers don't understand how a new hotel will increase the revenue of local businesses on the mountain. They should just get out of our way and hug a rock. Freedom Fighter Terrorists A freedom fighter refers to a person willing to participate in armed rebellion to fight against people or groups they feel are oppressive. On the other hand, a terrorist refers to someone willing to use violence and intimidation against any opposition, which may even cause civilian casualties in pursuit of their goal. People who refer to themselves as freedom fighters have said that they are willing to sacrifice themselves and anyone who gets in their way to prevent oppressive leaders from taking away their human rights. Opposition groups say that this group is made up of terrorists who just want to use extortion and fear to gain total control. Loaded language is evolving and is always used in advertisements, promotions, and rallies, which often causes it to become a type of hypnotism that creates a need to acquire or possess a particular product, accept a belief, or actively participate in an activity new and improved. Try our new and improved study method, which is guaranteed to help you increase all your test score numbers. If you become one of our loyal subscribers now, we guarantee you will get positive test results. Don't be the last one in your school to get the grades you will need for your future. Call us today and get one month free. This statement doesn't attempt to explain what the improvements are being compared to and how they can guarantee positive test results. Without knowing what something is being compared to, the statement becomes word salad that lacks flavor. Loaded language uses verbal gymnastics to give a speaker or writer the ample room to adjust definitions, deflect attacks, or if needed, claim plausible deniability. Loaded language emotionally connects how a belief, product, or action can offer protection, solve personal problems, create wealth, or improve health. Unfortunately, loaded language is used to make up plausible events, actions, and beliefs by using hyperbolic terminologies that only negatively exaggerate or outright lie about current or past events to rally support for actions that aren't constructive or beneficial for society as a whole. This only results in exploiting stereotypes, which usually worsens an already unfortunate situation. So the next time you watch a debate on television, on the internet, or read an opinion in a newspaper or magazine, think about how language is used to stress a point. Everything presented is placed before us to persuade us to do something someone or a group wants us to do. Ask yourself why the speaker or writer use the words and terms they use, because every word has power and a history. Remember that those who want to persuade us often speak with forked tongues. In the tradition of Native American tribes, speaking with a forked tongue means that a person is lying and can never be considered trustworthy. Do you know of other examples of how the original definition and usage of a word or term has changed to mean or refer to something totally different? For an example of how loaded language may be used to develop a belief, please listen to my episode titled, How We Began to Believe What We Believe. You may find it interesting. Thank you for joining us here at 4Cs, One Family. Please subscribe and download our podcast. And remember to stay strong, safe, and healthy wherever you are in the world, because we have a lot more in common 
than we think.